Meanwhile, there are new developments in the uses of stem cells to treat diseases that may be fatal. It's a possible breakthrough that involves teeth, and it may be saving one girl's life. Alicia Acuna in Denver reports. There's a great chance that she can be cured um, from life-threatening heart disease. The potential cure for a deadly disease lying dormant in Robert Pensack's daughter's body may come from her mouth. We have uh, a disease that runs in our family called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. A genetic mutation that causes the heart muscles to thicken and can kill its victims. The only surefire treatment now is a heart transplant. Pensack had one 12 years ago, but Miriam's recently extracted wisdom teeth provide hope. This is the tissue that has the stem cell in it. Adult stem cells that exist in the living pulp of all healthy teeth. A recent discovery by the National Institutes of Health. Miriam's dentist, Dr. John Lapori, participates in a program to preserve extracted teeth and ship them to a company in New York called StemSave, which harvests and cryogenically freezes them. Stem cells found in the roots of teeth are some of the body's most regenerative. Yeah, that, what that means is that they can turn into different types of tissue, like bone, skin, cartilage. But if, again, God forbid, I needed a heart transplant, they would be regrowing my own heart. It would be my genetic. And because the cells are her own, she would not need to take the cocktail of anti-rejection drugs that have made her father's life so difficult. And stem cells harvested from teeth have none of the questions surrounding embryonic stem cell research. The roots of wisdom teeth and baby teeth are the best candidates for harvesting stem cells. But they must be extracted. Teeth that fall out won't work because they're dead. Using someone's own preserved stem cells cells to regrow body parts isn't science fiction. The science is so promising the U.S. military is researching its potential to treat soldiers wounded in future wars. In Denver, Alicia Cunha, Fox News.